Hi, and welcome to Pharmacy Calculations in 5 Minutes by Pharmacy CPA. So we've been really busy. We've collated lots of different questions from different exams from around the world. Over a thousand questions in all. Not only from the GPHC exam, which is the pharmacy registration exam in England, but from NAPLEX exam, which is from the US, and PBC exam, which is Canadian. We've been looking at similarities and what they have in common in respects to their calculation questions and what do you actually need to know. What we came up with was this, the pharmaceutical calculation hierarchy. Basically, it starts off at the bottom, the easiest parts, and then works its way up to the top where you have the hardest things. So the first and the easiest are units. So you really need to know the super basics before you get started with this. A brilliant free resource is the Khan Academy. They have a simple maths course which gauges where you are at and gives you resources based on your expertise. So that's at www.khanacademy.org. So to get started, this is a quick check. Look at the problem and then try figure out what the resulting concentration is. If you get that right, you're well on your way. One of the cornerstones of pharmaceutical calculations are dosages. They can be split up into the simple and then syringe drivers, infusion rates, drip rates and weight and height calculations. So you may want to pause the video at the different questions that we're cycling through. This is the syringe driver question. It gives you the principles and then goes through first example, second example and one of the questions from either the NAPLEX or the GPHC exam. This is infusion rates with another question there. Drip rates, it goes through the principles and three worked examples and one example for you to try and then weight and height dosages. The next part is using formula. Many exams you don't need to know them and they give them to you but it's essential that you know these. It's about mass equivalence. They love to ask about creatinine clearance, first order pharmacokinetics and drug half-lives. In addition, make sure you know about ideal body weight and body mass index calculations. Unit conversion, make sure that you're confident in converting between the different units. This is one of the cornerstones of pharmaceutical calculation. Here are two quick questions for you to try. Remember, you can pause at any time. The next stage up is dilutions. You've got something called single dilutions. Many questions you will encounter will inevitably contain examples of solutions, asking you to dilute them and make them more concentrated. You try this question quickly. Multiple solutions. Some questions will ask you to mix two volumes of concentrations of known volume. If the volume is unknown, you will need to use allegation, which will be discussed at the end of this video. If you do this quick question. Next stage is formulations. You can either extemporaneously prepared tablets or liquids. A lot of the questions are you're manufacturing a batch and then need to split it up or you have a certain recipe which you need to fulfill with the different components. You also have quite rarely pharmacoeconomic questions. Making suppositories, you will need to know the concept of displacement. Here's a quick question talking about displacement values. The next stage up is molecular weight questions, usually concentrating around moles. This is quite an easy mole question. This is a hard mole example, which is worked through, and then one for you to try, and a second one for you to try. They also come up with milli equivalents, which you will need to know. These are some practical examples going through TPN units, talking about molecular mass, and a more practical example. And then lastly, at the peak of the triangle, allegation. Make sure you're not scared of it. Allegation is an arithmetical method of solving problems that involve the mixing of solutions or mixtures of solids possessing different percentage strengths. You're essentially getting two solutions and then mixing them together to create a new concentration. Be warned that there is something called allegation alternate. This is because when you have two solutions of differing strengths which you have to combine to make a new solution. This is just a quick example and it's easily recognised as you have one strong solution and one weaker solution and you've got to combine them to create a strength of solution which lies in between the two strengths. This can sound complicated, however if you learn this statement and memorise this picture then you'll be absolutely fine. Try this example on for size. So that's all pharmacy calculations in five minutes. If you want more information, why not subscribe to one of our websites or buy our new pharmacy calculations handbook?